Hey, Future Respiratory Therapist, a video here about time, volume, pressure, and flow cycling mechanism. Okay, and we're going to try to tie it into mechanical ventilation and to other therapies that you may do. Okay, so um, first of all, what you have to understand when you're talking about time, pressure, volume, or flow, and you're referring it to cycle, you have to understand what cycle is. Now, if we know that trigger is what starts the breath, so you pull the trigger, right, that starts the breath, then cycle is what ends inspiration and starts exhalation. Okay, so that's the first thing you have to understand. So when you hear on a test or on, on a on your board exams or or if you're just looking at this stuff and you're like I don't know what's happening, like I don't I don't know if it's time cycled or pressure cycled or volume cycled. You need to first of all ask yourself what is cycle? Cycle means it's the mechanism that ends inspiration. So what tells the ventilator or the machine to stop the inspiratory phase? Right? So close the inspiratory valve and open the expiratory valve. That's really what's happening. And that's what cycle is. Okay? Now, when we break these down, you have to think about them. So we're going to go in this order. Time, pressure, volume, flow. Okay? I'm going to think about the modes that I know that are most commonly associated with each of those types of, of, of cycle mechanisms. Okay? So the first one here is time. Okay, and this is time cycle. Now, when you talk about time cycle, the mode that comes to mind should be your pressure control modes of mechanical ventilation because you tell the ventilator to increase pressure for a set eye time. That set eye time is your time cycle. So if you say increase pressure from PEEP of 10 to an inspiratory pressure of 27, then you go from 10 to 27. The ventilator sits there and goes, how long do you want me to hold this? And you say, inspiratory time, I want to be one second. Then the vent says, got it. Raise the pressure from PEEP to inspiratory pressure and hold it for one second. At the end of one second, turn off and let the patient exhale. That's time cycle. Okay, that's time cycle. Pressure control, that can be AC pressure control, that can be pressure control SIV, that can be APRV, that can be bi-level. Anything you set an inspiratory time in is going to be time cycled. PRVC, time cycled. Okay, so pressure control any mode of pressure ventilation uh, that has an inspiratory time set is going to be time cycled. Now your pressure cycled is not the same as pressure control. This is the number one mistake I see most students making is I say what's the cycle mechanism in pressure control and they say pressure and I say no because you have an eye time set. That's your cycle mechanism in pressure control. So what's your what's an example of a pressure cycle? And it comes back to this old ass device that I I just I can't wait for the day for it to go away. I can't wait for the day where it's not even taught anymore. Okay? But I'm talking about the Bird IPPB machine or the Puritan Bennett 2 or whatever it was called. But I'm talking about IPPB. Now, if you want to know why, like what's the difference? Like, like how is IPPB pressure cycled but pressure control is time cycled? It's very simple. Look at the waveforms as it's set. In pressure control, you would increase the pressure and hold it for the eye time and then return to, to baseline, right? In IPPB, you increase the pressure until the pressure is set or until the pressure is achieved, and then it cycles off back to baseline. That's the difference. That's the difference in IPPB and pressure control. So don't tell me that IPPB is the same as pressure control because it is 100% absolutely not. Okay, There's a difference in pressure cycling 
and time cycling. Okay, IPVB functions off of pressure cycling. You tell the IPVB machine when to turn off. When you reach 20 centimeters of water pressure, cycle off. That's pressure cycling. But with pressure control, APRB by level, you tell the ventilator after you've held this pressure for one second, 1.5 seconds, two seconds, then you cut off and allow the patient to exhale. Two completely different cycling mechanisms, okay? Now the next one here is volume. And this is any of your volume control modes. So VCAC, VCSIMV, uh, they all operate volume. So you tell the ventilator to give a tidal volume of 450 milliliters. You don't set a pressure, you set a tidal volume. And the vent says, okay, I'm going to deliver 450 mLs, and when I'm done, it'll cut off and allow the patient to exhale. That's volume cycling. When this preset volume is reached, it will cycle into exhalation. It does not give more than the set tidal volume. Okay, And then the last one is flow. So cycling says when flow is reached, if you're talking about flow cycling, then it's whenever a preset flow is reached, then it's going to cycle into to exhalation. But flow cycling has a tendency to operate a little differently. Okay, I don't know of a mode that uses, uses flow cycling as its primary cycling mechanism. Now when I say that, let me, let me, let me clarify it with this. Okay, when I think of flow cycling... I think of pressure support ventilation. But specifically, I think of a flow decay. That's different than when peak inspiratory flow is reached, cycle off. What flow decay says is that when your flow setting reaches 25% of peak flow, then open the exhalation valve and allow the patient to exhale. So you're usually talking about pressure support ventilation here when you're talking about flow cycling. Okay, I have another video on this. I'm going to link to it at the top of the screen here. It's going to make more sense on this, okay, because I have more room to illustrate it. But those are the different type of cycle mechanisms. Those are the different vent modes that go with each cycle mechanism with the exception of IPV, which is an event mode, but it is a therapy that operates off of pressure cycling, okay? So um, you could even put uh, up here in time cycle, you could put BiPAP, because BiPAP is another um, time cycled, uh, time cycle um, uh, mode of ventilation. When it's set eye time reaches, then it, then it cuts off into um, exhalation, okay? So, uh, Brianna, or Mel, or Mel Brianna, I hope this helps. Thanks for asking this question. If it doesn't, give me another question. I'll clarify it even further, okay? Hope everybody's having a great day.